This nugget is about teeth. In this nugget, we're going to have a look at the different types of teeth there are and discover what role they play in the digestive system. The key words we'll use include canines, molars, incisors, carnivore, herbivore, decay, digestion, and bacteria. So why do we have teeth? Do you know why animals have teeth? And have you seen any differences between them? Teeth are an important part of our digestive system to helping the breakdown of food. They're needed by animals, including humans. Did you know that sharks can grow and lose over 30,000 teeth in their lifetime? That's a bit different to human teeth. Humans only grow two sets of teeth. They first grow temporary milk teeth when they are younger, and later we grow 32 permanent adult teeth. Types of teeth. You may have seen in your mouth that your teeth don't all look the same. This is because we have three types of teeth. The teeth at the front of your mouth are known as incisors, and these are important for cutting and biting off pieces of food. The teeth next to the incisors are known as the canines. And these teeth are a bit sharper and pointier, and they're needed for tearing apart the food. At the back of your mouth, you have lots of teeth that aren't quite as tall and slightly flatter. These are called molars, and these are important for grinding and crushing your food as you chew. So we can see that our different types of teeth are all involved in breaking down food into smaller pieces in different ways. Animals have different teeth that are suited to digesting the different types of food that they eat. For example, carnivores have lots of sharp, pointy canine teeth. We can sometimes see them sticking out, like in this tiger. Canine teeth are needed by carnivores for tearing the flesh and meat off their prey whereas herbivores have many more flat, strong molars for chewing and grinding all of the plant material and grass that they eat. Looking after our teeth. To ensure that our teeth are healthy, we must look after them. If we don't look after them, bacteria can come along and eat any sugars or food that have been left in our mouth after we've eaten food. As the bacteria feeds on this leftover food, it releases an acid, which causes our teeth to rot. This rotting of our teeth is called tooth decay and can lead to many more problems, such as having to have fillings or even teeth removed if we let it continue. There are different ways we can prevent our teeth from decaying. These include avoiding sugary and acidic foods and drinks, brushing our teeth twice a day, and also occasionally flossing to get rid of any food stuck between our teeth, and going to the dentist regularly to get our teeth checked. Summary. In summary, we know that the teeth are part of the digestive system for animals. Humans have three types of teeth, incisors, canines, and molars. Different animals will have different numbers of these types of teeth depending on the type of food that they eat. And we must look after our teeth to prevent bacteria from causing tooth decay. The key words we used were canines, molars, incisors, digestion, the process of breaking down food, carnivores, animals that feed on other animals, herbivores, animals that feed on plants, and decay the rotting of material due to the action of bacteria.